I'm Larry Kenny. Especially in winter, much of the food we eat comes from thousands of miles away, often by airplane. Food destined for such long journeys must be produced for travel, a process that favors neither excellence of taste nor quality of nutrition. The alternative is to raise food in cold months in greenhouses. Unhappily, conventional greenhouses like this hoop house require large quantities of energy to keep the soil, the soil warm. Thus, oil can be used for flying food over long distances or for keeping inefficient greenhouses from freezing plants. Neither option is sustainable. We must do better. Indeed, we've recently proven that we can. This slide shows a thousand square foot research greenhouse my colleagues and I built at the Cure Organic Farm on 75th and Belmont with funding from the Colorado Department of Agriculture. It uses a number of principles of building science, including heavy <coughs> perimeter wall and roof insulation, automated insulating shutters, high solar heat gain glazing, systems for co controlling solar light and heat to maximize growth, lots of thermal mass, and carefully controlled ventilation. Only passive solar is used to supply both light and heat. Seeds planted on Thanksgiving, a month shy of the shortest day of the year, are producing 12 varieties of summer veggies faster than under optimal summertime conditions. Some sensors in the research greenhouse and hoop house measure solar light, temperature, and humidity. Temperatures have never dropped below 48 degrees in the research greenhouse, even on a night when the outside the air temperature dropped to minus five. It's been chilly lately, right? Temperatures in the greenhouse averaged 64 in December and January. The high was 92. Wow. The hoop house frequently freezes. The technology can be employed in a range of greenhouses. These include attached units that supply heat, as well as food a few steps from the kitchen, to large commercial units that produce fresh food all year round. All <laughs> Net zero or better with them. Thank you so much.